check whether advanced restart button is available or not in this room i don't think so we have advanced restart button let's power this off first okay power this off and i already made a video on this miui elite room you can check out in my channel once power off then press the volume up button and power button simultaneously until it boots into recovery once the poco logo appear you can remove the power button finger and continuously press the volume up button and use the latest recovery many people complain about that this is the recovery i am using for poco x3 first go into wipe and select advanced wipe and select dalvi catch data and swipe here to wipe later again go to install wherever you selected i am selecting a sd card wherever you downloaded the file select that and first flash the firmware i am reading it clearly watch it surya miui surya global version 12.5.4 latest firmware i will give the link for this in the description you can check out flash this firmware and again go to install and select this miui mind surya zip as you can see flash to takes little bit of time wait until it gets flashed this is the latest version available miu mind surya and i have done the community i mean i have done a poll in community tab section you can check out in my youtube channel there i mentioned about which is the rom i can review for poco x3 i have given four options like miu mind edition pixel experience android 11 and some other rom and also quoted like wait until you get new rom many people selected that one and also the mio mind edition hence i am making the video on mind edition as you can say rom zip file has been flashed and again go to wipe and select your format data and type y e s and tick this button done go to reboot and system this is how the flashing method for mio mind edition latest version on poco x3 and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and stay tuned till the end of the video such that i will explain about this mio mind edition bugs features give bgma gameplay everything will be explained so stay tuned till the end of the video here comes the mio logo wait for until it gets in gets booted into the rom for the first time it takes 10 to 15 minutes wait until it gets booted <laughs> Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx youtube channel and this is a CPU throttling test in this room and as you can see I have, I have been running from last 6 minutes 6 seconds you can see here in the maximum is 150 and minimum is 111 114 and average is 136 and CPU throttle to 84 87% of its maximum performance and this is the new MIUI mind edition let me show you into the settings as you can see this is the MIUI mind edition 12 point 5.19 stable version for poco x3 you can see here all specs here it comes with under 11 only no under 12 as of now and it's not even me 13 and this is the app drawer and here comes app vault if you want you can change here you can keep the google discover here and let's see dialer first you will get direct video call feature that is available let's see call recording yeah there is a call recording feature also which is working fine in my opinion let's see the settings bluetooth settings wallpaper and personalization you get plenty of wallpapers here me at 12.5 and some of the windows 11 wallpapers are also pre-installed let me change actually there is even super wallpapers also you can adjust from here and some of the mio 13 wallpapers are also pre-installed let me apply this print of wallpapers again super live wallpapers are also given in this rom and this lock screen layout you can adjust from here icons also you can choose you can adjust the icon size also from here there are plenty of themes has been installed here if you want you can change from here ringtones notifications alarms are also working fine as you can see these are the animations cool animations are still in this rom 
and coming to lock screen settings you get all the basic settings like double tap to wake and you can read here print of options are remaining same and coming to display settings you get light mode and dark mode this is how the dark mode you will get in this room as you can see into the setting in quick settings panel it's similar to MIUI 12.5 enhanced edition not a MIUI 13 based ROM this is and coming into display you can turn off from here dark mode even you can schedule it out reading mode is given color scheme you can change here and refresh it there is an entire option is given but 120 is the maximum keep it the same if you want battery life keep it to 60 or 90 disable font mail and pro is also given here this are the display settings and okay this is the display settings and coming to sound and vibration you get all the basic settings like you can enable or disable some of the settings and increase or decrease the volume settings and haptic feedback from here you can enable or disable and profile video for incoming calls is given additional settings has been given you can enable or disable some of the options and sound effects remains the same as in the global ROM or whatever EEA ROM whatever you are using previously similar options are given here no Dolby Atmos if you want you can use magic's manager to install that even the always on display is also not available if you want you can make it out notification control center is same you will get like this status bar options you can adjust from here battery indicator also you can choose from here like this those are the options you get into notification and control center and home settings as you can see there are plenty of options like number of columns in folder also you can choose from here double tap turn off the screen swipe up turn off the screen those gestures also you can choose it out and into the standard options you get default launcher as mega launcher and system navigation you get gestures and three button navigation print of options you can check out here and minus one screen as i said before you can keep the google discover also double tap to lock screen is given and global icon animations and number of icon columns in folder there also given here also it's given and icon labels in single line you can enable or disable from here infinite scroll is given remove unlock icon anim animation you can remove from here if you want you can keep it like that also show memory status blur app previews and show suggestions are given in the home screen settings coming into like wallpapers and themes i explained and password and security you get face unlock fingerprint unlock and screen lock let's show you one by one let's see the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's quick enough to unlock just the case is little bit difficult for me other than that actually the fingerprint scanner is very quick and let me show you the face unlock as you can see it's very very fast that's the beauty of MIUI ROMs the face unlock will be very very quick enough and you get pattern unlock and like that and there is a app lock also I'll show you into the app settings you get app lock here if you want to keep app lock you can use this one no need to install any third party applications manage app system app settings all things you can adjust from here you can even uninstall the system apps from here and coming into battery settings here you get this kind of MIUI 13 based battery saver has been included here performance mode save battery mode and ultra battery saver is given and coming to screen on time let me show you i've been using one hour 15 minutes now as you can see the percentage is 73 i will be going to play the bgm also check out the battery life you will get some idea it's really good the battery life is and into the accounts and sync is given okay special features you get all the game turbo mode video toolbox floating window second space light mode all are working fine here into the additional settings quick ball is there button shortcuts full screen display this so it's given led light quick ball 100 mode clear speaker and accessibility menu is also given here you need to swipe from here in order to get the accessibility menu shortcut if you want you can keep the navigation bar then you will get this side the accessibility menu memory extension is given there if you can read or no i don't know there is no there is given like add 0.0, .0 gb of ram by occupying this there is a bug or what i don't know if, if you know it do comment down in the comment section below guys and that's all these are the settings let's move into app reviews like entity benchmark result on this rom is 3,56,000 pretty good for this snapdragon 732g based poco x3 or x3 nfc suria karna whatever you call this are the scores you get with poco x3 
and temperature raise is 4.1 degree celsius and 2d 2 percentage of battery has been dra drained and 3d mark test i will show you my results as you can see triple one four and 99 percent has been beaten and your score versus all devices you can see out the graph here and let's see the geekbench scores single score is 557 and multi score is 1717 the kernel user is linux 4.14.180 puff kernel has been used and so you are getting this kind of scores here and let me show you the cpu like safety net status i haven't installed i guess yeah it is here let's run this you will get passed okay failed you need to pass it is profile match by flashing magix model you can easily make it out which is not a problem then you can use payment application whatsapp everything going to be working fine in my opinion and you will get this kind of miui camera or anx camera whatever you call even if you want to use gcam ports you can definitely use it in this rom and there is a dynamic shot feature yesterday i made a video like elite rom there i am not getting this dynamic shot but anyhow in this rom it's present and coming to drm info you will get level level 1 certification such that you can watch all the ott applications in hd resolution which is not a problem and coming to speed test here i have here like 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 which is good thing no problem and even with mobile data also it's working fine i am getting carrier aggregation no problem regarding that and even there is no eco or anything like that while speaking with I mean while taking calls like that there is no problem and let's move to BGMI and see how is the gameplay here comes the graphic settings you get smooth plus ultra and HD and I if you want you can use JFX tool to enable the 60 FPS let's see the gameplay here and this is the volume panel as you can see it's loud enough I kept to 120 Hz refresh rate. The gameplay is fine here, no problem. I haven't facing any lag or anything like that. Definitely, if you play classic matches, you might face lag. I'll come back here the gameplay is also fine you can definitely try it out as a daily driver no problem even charging speeds so I'll show you the charging animation here you can check out here simple MIUI 12.5 enhanced direction nothing fancy like MIUI 13 logo or anything like that this is how the MIUI mind edition latest build with January security patch if you like the video give it a like and if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and uh, this is how guys the mayo mind edition and uh, thank you for watching this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now